Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce the number of days that items are allowed to sit in the trash inside of your pages or posts in WordPress. By default, when you delete a page or a post or a comment, it's stored in the trash can for 30 days, which means you have 30 days to go back and say, oh no, I don't wanna delete that and click on restore. Or you can go into the trash and then delete them all permanently right away. And the, the problem is if you have a very high traffic site where a lot of posts and comments are generated and deleted, that can significantly impact your database performance if you're saving 30 days worth of deleted material, which still lives in your database. It's just marked for deletion. So all that information is still in the database. And if you have a very high traffic site, it can impact database performance, which you don't want to have. So there's a really easy way just by editing your WP config file to change the number of days that items are found in the trash can. And we're gonna do that right now. And we're in our HostGator account. We're gonna scroll down to the file manager. We're gonna open the document root for whatever website we're working on, then click on go. You can do this using FTP as well if you're more comfortable with that. And you wanna find your WP config file, click on it, click on edit. And then anywhere above where it says that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. Anywhere above that, you wanna paste this code. And this code is also found below this video. So you can use this, you can just copy and paste it from there. But you wanna paste that code and change the X to whatever number you want. And that number is gonna be the number of days that items sit in the trash can. So like I said, by default it's 30. If you have a very high traffic site, you're gonna to wanna to reduce that and you can reduce it to whatever number you want. You can even change it to something crazy like 300 if you want to store things for 300 days. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could do that. And so choose the number of days you want, or if you set this to zero, there is no trash can. So if you click on delete for something, it's deleted permanently immediately. So there's no room for error when you set that to zero days. And I know I've appreciated the, the um, I've appreciated the trash can many times in the past, so I like to have at least a little bit of room for error, but if you're adventurous and you don't want room for error, set that to zero and there's no more trash can. I'm gonna change my back to three. And then when you're all done, click on save and you can go back to your website, reload the dashboard, make sure you're not getting any errors, go to the live website, make sure you're not getting any errors, everything looks good. So in this video, you learned how to reduce the number of days that items sit in your trash can by adding a simple piece of code to your WP config file, which will hopefully help save your database size and increase database performance. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.